The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronics community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com slash presents. Hi, and welcome to Element 14 Presents. I'm Cisco, and in today's episode, we're going to be using computer vision and machine learning to build an automated trigger for my DSLR so that I can capture high resolution images of birds in free flight. All right, let's do this. Amazing hacks. Inspired designs. Each week, Element 14 Presents brings you innovative projects using electronics, engineering, and more. So in what feels like a lifetime ago, I was a grad student trying to study natural behaviors of freely flying fruit flies. And to do that, we had to build the sophisticated triggers that will allow us to study the animals without disrupting their natural behaviors. So ever since then, I've been trying to use all that knowledge for the kind of projects that I build today. So with that in mind, I'll be using a Raspberry Pi 4, an Intel RealSense camera, and my DSLR to try to build an automated trigger to take really nice photos of birds in free flight. So the very first thing I needed to do for the project was attracting some birds to come to my patio. To do that, I just bought some bird seed and dispersed it on the ground. After a few days, I started noticing that a few birds would come regularly at a particular time. I also got some uninvited guests, but that wasn't too bad to deal with. So the next step was assembling the hardware. I started by putting together the Raspberry Pi inside the enclosure, then getting an electrical extension to the area where I wanted to connect it. And that required a little bit of help, followed by connecting the Raspberry Pi to power, as well as mounting the Intel RealSense camera in an area where I would get a good view of the bird feeder. I tried to keep the cabling as neat as possible, and I finished by connecting the Intel RealSense camera to one of the USB 3 ports on the Raspberry Pi 4. So with the hardware set up and with the birds stopping by regularly, it was time for the next step. That involved using the live stream view from the RealSense camera as an input to a Python script that used the computer vision library OpenCV. You may have seen me use a similar setup in a previous video where I was tracking punches. However, this time around, I won't be doing any image processing myself, but using a machine learning library to analyze the images. Similar to what I've done before, I started with a code example from the Intel RealSense library for Python. I modified it a little bit to get rid of the depth information as the machine learning library only relies on the RGB data. I know I'm going over this detail really quickly, but I invite you to the Element 14 community page for the project to learn more details about the software side of things. After making those changes, I verified that I could in fact get an image from the camera. And with things working properly, I moved to the machine learning side of things. Hi, I'm David from Element 14's The Electronics Inside. Join me as I tear down toys, tools, appliances, modern, vintage, classics, and even some new releases just to find out what's inside. For the machine learning, I chose to use the TensorFlow Lite library for Python. The installation is super simple and it only requires a simple pip call to install the package. One thing we need in addition to the library is the models that we're going to use for applying the machine learning algorithm. 
I used a great guide that you'll find also in the community page for the project. But once I downloaded that model, that allowed me to run just a simple test on some example video. Luckily, one of the example models was precisely made for identifying birds in images. So the next step was combining the code from the computer vision side with a machine learning example. Again, I'll go over the process really quickly, but feel free to ask me any questions either in the comments of the video or in the Element 14 community page for the project. Once I combine the two pieces of code in a script that I call detector.py, I ran it and waited for a bird to be in the field of view of the Intel RealSense camera. The first thing I noticed once I was running the code is that the frame rate was particularly slow and that didn't quite seem fast enough to identify the bird reliably when it was in the field of view. I tried modifying the resolution, playing around with the region of interest, and a few other tricks to no avail. Luckily, this problem has a very simple solution. Just throw another piece of hardware into the equation. Using Google's Coral USB accelerator, I was able to really quickly install a library for it and get it running so that I can increase the processing speed of the images and get my frame rate up to around 30 frames per second. Once I was able to track birds with the increased frame rate, I moved on to triggering the DSLR using Python. For that, as I've done in another video, I used the gphoto2 library, which is a command line utility for Linux. This library works with a variety of DSLRs and you can check on their website if yours is one of them. There's a few configuration steps like setting where you want to store the photos as well as trying out the functionality for transferring those photos to the Raspberry Pi. Once I had tested that everything was working accordingly, I moved on to integrating the calling of that library to a Python script. I called that script trigger.py and all it did was using the subprocess module that allows me to call external commands from the operating system inside of Python. So once I was able to communicate with my DSLR, trigger a picture and transfer the file over to the Raspberry Pi, I moved to integrating the two scripts together. So now that I had a unified script, I was able to set it to run, wait for a bird to come with the field of view of the Intel RealSense camera, and once the machine learning was able to identify that the bird was present, the combined Python script was able to capture great photos of birds in flight. I got so excited with this initial results that I set up a hummingbird feeder and I was able to also capture great photos of hummingbirds in flight. So there you have it. In this episode of Element 14 Presents, I was able to use a Raspberry Pi 4 Python, computer vision, and machine learning to get a live view of a bird feeder and then trigger a DSLR for capturing high resolution photos of birds in free flight. Can you get it to work with your own webcam, something like a Raspberry Pi camera, and your own DSLR? Let me know in the comment section of the community page for the project. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you next time.